Hey, I'm John Fleck, and I'm going to do a short video about type 1 diabetes. So type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disorder that affects the pancreas. That's otherwise known as diabetes mellitus, and previously used to be known as juvenile diabetes. Uh, in people with this condition, their own body attacks the islet B cells in the pancreas, uh, which produce insulin. So... Insulin is a hormone that allows for the uptake of sugars into the cells of the body. In people who have type 1 diabetes, the lack of insulin uh, means that sugar builds up in the bloodstream and it never reaches the cells to be metabolized. So people who have type 1 diabetes experience excessive thirst if they're hyperglycemic, uh, as well as persistent weight loss and sometimes blurry vision. In extreme cases, if the blood sugar in the uh, blood gets too high, uh, they may develop a condition called diabetic ketoacidosis. Basically, the blood sugar, uh, the sugar in the blood, turns the blood acidic and may result in a life-threatening uh, situation. So, people who have type 1 diabetes constantly have to monitor their blood sugar levels, uh, typically through a finger prick and a small blood test. Uh, people who have a uh, blood sugar count below 100 are in a state called FBS or fasting blood sugar. Uh, people who have high blood sugar count are typically around 180 and they are uh, hyperglycemic. So Again, people who have this condition are usually diagnosed at birth, although in extreme, in extreme cases it may develop later in life. So a gluto glucose tolerance test uh, is usually unnecessary, as that is typically reserved for people who have type 2 diabetes. People who have type 1 diabetes, um, again, have to consistently inject themselves with insulin as an artificial way of uh, getting the hormone. Um, so through constant insulin, insulin injections and through lifestyle modifications of watching what they eat and regulating their blood sugar, uh, type 1 diabetics uh, can live somewhat normal lives but are constantly uh, affected by this disease. Uh, that's it. Thanks.